Hello and welcome to BA250 Small Business Management. So I'm going to walk through, my name is Darren Bell, I'm the instructor for this course. And we're going to walk through the course uh, on Canvas and hopefully help you get started. So there are some students in this class, about half of them, that are doing the class live in class. And then there are about half of them that are doing the, the class um, via distance, right? And so, uh, so I'm speaking mostly to the distance students. We're going to cover a lot of this that I'm talking about now in class as well, just to make sure everybody gets it. But so, so to begin with, uh, this class is uh, going to be kind of a capstone class for the business management programs. Um, it is geared mainly towards uh, starting, managing, running a business, and reporting out a business, right? So it's a project class. So let's go ahead and go right here on the first page here that we have a link to the syllabus. Let's go ahead and go to the syllabus and take a look at uh, how the grades are calculated in this class. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here to this section right here, right? So we have where we can see how the grades are uh, what, what assignments there are and how many points there are for those assignments. So we have a thousand total points in the class. And so to begin off, to begin with, we have the weekly assignments. So the weekly assignments are done uh, not necessarily every week, but a lot of the weeks, especially leading up to the business experience, we're going to have assignments that are due. These weekly assignments, for the most part, are individual assignments, right? And so unless otherwise noted, you individually have to submit this assignment even though you're working in groups with a team. So make sure you get your assignment in. Okay, so that's 20% of your grade. So, uh, so the final exam is going to be different than any other final exam you've done before. It's worth 20% of your grade. It's going to be uh, made available during finals week for you to do and complete and submit back to me. And so that's going to be the final exam there. We'll talk more about that uh, towards the end of the term. Okay, the whole term, the whole term, this whole class will prepare you for the final exam. Uh, then we have the last two things that we're going to be issuing points for here. So 60 points, 20% for a 360 evaluation report, and then 40%, uh, 400 points for your business evaluation. So the 360 evaluation report is going to be where you're going to evaluate everybody else in your team and they're all going to evaluate you, right? So everybody's going to evaluate everybody else. And so I'm going to throw a video. There's some information out there already, but I'm going to throw some more information out as well of how to exactly uh, accomplish the 360 evaluation. You've got to manage your own 360 evaluation and administer that. I'll tell you how to do that. Then uh, finally, the business evaluation. So in this course, the main goal of this course is for you to work with a group and to uh, get a product or service you're going to provide and then to actually open your business up for two weeks during the term. So week six and seven of the term. And so uh, all, all the lead up time here as we work through the content in the weeks one through five is going to help you hopefully do some brainstorming and do some design creative thinking and come up with a business idea that's going to work for you and your group okay and so uh, i'm going to give you more information and more uh, details as we go forward so that'll help you kind of uh, structure things around you as you work forward but that's what it is so get a hold of your group if you're part of the caldwell online group then what you need to do is you need to be an active member of that group, right? Because you got a 360 evaluation come on up, you're going to need to get good points on that evaluation. So if there's a group member that doesn't work with the group, then that's going to show in their grade, right? Um, and you're going to need to be able to know the business well enough to do a business evaluation as well. So you're going to need to be involved in it and helping out. It doesn't necessarily mean, so the business that you start up, it could be, uh, any type of business, right? Uh, but w one thing I want to kind of just let you know is hopefully you're going to simplify it, right? It's just a two-week business. Um, 
and you don't have to use your own money. So there's going to be money provided um, by the, the college to help you do this, some seed money. And hopefully you'll make a profit or at least break even. That's the goal. So anyways, so that's kind of the basics uh, of it. And so let's go ahead and move on to some of the other content here. So as we get going, there's to start here, that's gonna, the button that's gonna take you to um, kind of the start here uh, intro. It's gonna have, it has a textbook introduction. The textbooks for this class are free. So they're online textbook uh, texts. And so they're free, you don't have to pay for them. You can use them online as much as you want to and, and get as much out of them as you can to help you with your business idea and creation. Okay, for the online Caldwell group, there's this group right here. Um, there's this module here on Canvas. It's class meeting via Zoom module. You can view recorded classes there, as well as if you do have time at 1230 on Monday or Wednesday, you can attend a live class. So you can come in uh, if you have some time during lunch or whenever, get on a computer, uh, click this link right here, attend uh, live via Zoom, and then you're going to come in and, and you'll be able to uh, take part in the class. And so I'm going to get a video camera set up so you can kind of see the class and what they're doing. And you can also um, hear what I'm saying, hear the lectures I'm giving and, and all the information that I'm giving. Uh, that'll be recorded as well, but live sometimes is even better if you need to ask questions as we go. Okay, so for week one, um, this is some content that I'm covering in class. So we went through the brainstorming video and we did some brainstorming exercises. Uh, we also talked about the minimum viable product, and this is a video here that you can watch. And really what these two videos are for is just to get you and your group uh, started on brainstorming and thinking about what type of product you're going to be doing to learn, right? So the idea is we don't have to build Rome in a day, right? We don't have, there's not, we don't have to come up with a well-polished service or product right from the start. We want to come up with a minimal vi viable product that's going to meet a need and, and help us learn and maybe pivot, which means uh, we're going to change, we're going to keep our goals the same. But we're going to just pivot a little bit and we're going to find new opportunities and, and continue to progress and learn through our business. Okay, we're going to be open for two weeks. So there might be some opportunities to pivot during business and even before as we start planning and getting stuff together. Um, so every week there's going to be uh, content placed out here and some description of what to do if you need to submit a, an assignment. Really, the first assignment that you're going to need to submit is going to be in week two. So week one right now, I would get a hold of my group members, make sure everybody's on the group page working through it. Uh, what you're going to want to do is over here on the left side, as an individual student, you will have a group link over there. So click on group and you're going to be working with the, um, the Caldwell group over there. So it's going to be, it's called the Caldwell Online Business Group. There's five students in the group. Here they are all listed out. There's Alan, Starla, Brianna, uh, Perneko, and uh, Stanley. Sorry, I forgot your name wrong. But um, so those are the, those are the five students that are in that group. Some of you do live in Ontario or around close to Ontario, but you're doing it uh, via online and distance. Some of you live maybe a little more towards Caldwell and that area. So I put you all together because you're not going to be with us live in class. So you can work on your business uh, together and make it work for you. Okay. So it may be difficult. For example, if you're going to start up a business and you're going to do something at an event, let's say in Caldwell, then uh, that may work well, depending on how everybody can make it work. Or you might want to meet in the middle and say, you know what, our business is going to be a business that we are going to do without location. We're going to do it online or we're going to do it with um, a, a certain product or service or whatever and kind of limit yourself so you can have a viable product that still meets your needs as a group. So, so 
brainstorm with me as well and I'll help you help give you some resources and some help along the way all right so uh, going back let's go back to the module real quick um, so yeah so as we move forward into week two these assignments that you see out here the videos and the assignment sets you're going to be working through um, if it says to work on it like this first one the design thinking participation worksheet that you're going to have to do it's best if you work that in with with somebody uh, else right so you're going to work in groups of two to do that if you can do that with a group member online in whatever format that would be best if not uh, a family member or a friend that can help you kind of work through the worksheet uh, would be great as well so some some of these are going to be things you can just do on your own go for it this first one that on week two the design thinking you're going to have to figure somebody else find somebody else to work with you on that one because that works best in groups of two at least and so um, anyways uh, hopefully this gets you started off on the right foot week one really nothing do uh, week two uh, we're going to be doing this uh, design thinking crash course and moving ahead with that. The whole time though, underline, you're going to be working with your group and starting to collaborate and get in contact with each other and figuring out possibly group meetings or online meetings or just uh, chats and just building through on what you can do as a group. So one of the things that you can do on Canvas is you have your own group uh, area group site so if you click on group and go to the Caldwell online you guys can create your own pages you can do your own chats and discussions you can do everything on there that you want to do for your group and so you can use canvas as a, a tool to kind of leverage off of and get some group action going or you can go outside canvas um, and and collaborate any way you need to to get your group going so um, who's responsible to lead? Everybody. You're all leaders. Move forward and get her done. And this is a capstone class, so really it's, it's uh, the idea is that you're all leaders. You all hopefully have the same background and have taken a lot of the business classes, and you can move forward and be successful and have a good learning experience with this. So um, anyways, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.